I'm very excited to announce that I'm teaming up with Mr. Humble. He has a Facebook group chat called Madden Competitive Gaming. Link to that is in the description. If you want to get some good games, some good competition, want to lab with some people who know what they're doing, go check it out. Just send an invite request and you'll get invited. It's a whole lot of fun. Been on there for a couple of days now and it's been a great community. Make sure to check it out and have fun watching this video. This video will be going in on a suggestion from one of my viewers. I asked you in the last uh, video, which is the weekly league breakdown, what do you want me to go over? It was kind of like a talking video and I explained a lot of things with the YouTube channel. So if you have any questions about Madden that you want me to answer, I'm going to say it again. Please let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for video ideas and how I can help you guys out. Today I'm going to break down my big Nick Glover G. Now before we get into it, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. I have it right in front of me right here. Only about 20% of my viewers are actually subscribed to my channel. So if you want to change that, go down below, click the red button with the subscribe on it. It would help me out a lot. It helps my videos get notified, uh, get notified, get shown on other people's home screens. And it just really would mean a lot to me. Now let's get into it. On offense, I'm in the uh, Las Vegas Raiders offense just because they are very flexible. I control a lot of things off it. But this is not so much about offense. It's more about defense. We want to talk about Big Nickel OG. Big Nickel OG really begins before you even load up the game or before you even play a single snap. You want to go to coaching adjustments. Make sure you have two things set. You want auto flip defensive play call on and you want to change your curl flats. Either go to 25, that is one way, or you can go to 20. What that will do is it will change the depth that the, your curl flats play at. That was a feature that they introduced this year. That's something that a lot of you guys know, but just for the ones who are new to Madden, this is a really nice feature because now this will allow us to kind of manually change where our zones play. Now when we go to Big Nickel over G, I'm currently in the 46 defense by the way. This is the defense that are currently running against pretty much anything. And I'm going to show you guys why it is so incredibly flexible. We want to go to the slot cornerback package because otherwise we would get some weird uh, audibles. We couldn't change our uh, cornerbacks into cloud flats. And not cloth, it's curl flats or stuff like that. It, it, it would just be weird. So we want slack cornerback package. Then we want to go R1 and we want to change our, um, how do you say? We want to change our personnel. One very important thing is that we ma make sure we have two cornerbacks in at safety. That is very important. So we want Richard Sherman right here and we want uh, Tredavious White right here. Then we want a cornerback right here. And we want two safeties at the linebacker spot. That is one thing that you can do in all nickel formations. Uh, you can put uh, safeties at middle linebacker and also in big nickel. So we want to put two safeties right here. And then we get to the D-line. This might be very counterintuitive, but you want two outside linebackers in those spots. So we want outside linebacker right here, outside linebacker right here. Just to make sure we have some guys who can, who are fast, who can play some zones. That stuff like, uh, stuff like that. Now, who is ideal in ultimate team for this position? I use, I use, uh, who do I use? I use Jadavian Clowney. On one side and they use Sam Mills on the other. I'm gonna switch Sam Hills, uh, Sam Hills, Sam Mills, and change that uh, with who am I gonna change with? I always forget the name. Ted Hendricks, yeah. Um, you want fast guys that are good in zone or as good as zo in zone as linebackers can be. But I'm gonna use Ted Hendricks and Jadavian Clowney. Maybe I'll even change to Devin Clowney, who knows. But that's what I'm rocking with for now. And then on the inside, you want to have two pass rushes. You ideally want to have. A, an outside uh, an outside rusher like an end the end with the run stopper archetype so you can get uh, inside stuff on him for only one ap that's in my i i personally use reggie white for that but you can use whoever you want i have aaron donald and reggie white in those two spots now that is all for uh personnel i want to talk about how to stop the run first and i'm going to do this out of cover three sky and on offense we'll come out in trips and then we'll come in uh Formation has a trap, hopefully. I'm not actually sure if the uh, Raiders offense has a trap, but we'll see anyways. Let me turn off my phone. So the thing you do to uh, stop a stretch is you use uh, this guy right here, the linebacker or the safety rather, that is on the side of the running back. Then you want to pinch your D-line. You want to slant outside. You want to blitz your user. And I'm using two controllers right here. Right here. Maybe it doesn't work properly. But you're going to snap the ball. And you're going to try to shoot it right there. Boom, I missed him. But... This is what's going to happen. A gap is going to get opened up. Uh, one controller. A gap is going to get opened up. And you can kind of try to shoot in right there. Now, obviously, I'm missing him because McCaffrey is pretty quick. Also, he, ma he made some great reads right there. So, one more time, I'm going to show you how you can get in right there. A lot of people are not going to make that cut. Oh, my bad. I missed him. <laughs> I just keep missing him. But you guys can see how I get in. 
Now one thing that I do with a lot of my coverage is I like to put those outside guys into hard flats. This is now where things get a little bit dif more difficult. Sometimes you can still get in, but be aware that if you put those outside guys into zones, maybe you won't get in to the backfield. Now one more time, one final time, I'm gonna try to get in, I still miss him. Uh, one thing that you can do, and I'm, as I say I'm gonna do this one more time. One thing that you can do is you can go right here and then you click off and then the computer is gonna make the tackle for you. I'm, I've been missing a lot right here, I'm not gonna lie, so that's probably what I should be doing. But yeah, just pinch, slant outside, blitz your user, and then you're gonna be able to stop the run. Now let's talk about the blitz, or let's talk about how to play some better coverage uh, by bluffing the blitz and then going back to something different. The blitz is gonna be SS with 3. That's what we're gonna call. And on offense, we're just gonna come out in bunch because a lot of people like this uh, like bunch. Uh, Las Vegas is not the best bunch, but it is one bunch, and it's kind of good for me uh, to show this out of. Let's mesh spot as one of my audibles so that I can have a wheel rod out there. And let's go with C spot and go. Actually, let me re spot the ball. And now this is where things get a little bit interesting, because now we we're going to get into the rotating stuff. That's something that a lot of, that you see a lot of people running online. You wanna show blitz. And now you see how the guy in the deep zone, that you can see him right here in the deep blue, he goes down. Now if we were to run this play like that, um, you could see that I would just have to streak Hopkins. And we would get a touchdown. Just because the deep, uh, deep third is so out of position, there's no way that he can play that. So we have to make some adjustments to account for that. Uh, let me show blitz again. Then you want to put this X guy right here in a deep half, or in, not in a deep half, in a deep middle third, which is triangle twice, X, uh, left on the left stick. That's the only adjustment that I'm going to explain because everything else, you can just click triangle twice, select the cornerback, or uh, just select the DB you want, and then everything is explained on the screen. If you were to flick the left uh, the left stick to the left, uh, to the right, my bad, you can put a curl flat out there, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to reset it. Setup is uh, show blitz. You want to put the X guy in an inside third. And that depends on what you want to do. Do you want to blitz or do you want to play coverage? Let's just start off with playing coverage. Then you want to pinch your D-line. You want to slant outside. That is one thing that you do with pretty much any setup out of this. You want to um, put this guy right here, uh, Trey White, in a curl flat. You want to put this guy in a hard flat, which is uh, left on the D-pad twice. That is kind of like that uh, cross right there. Left on the D-pad twice square a uh, hard flat you want to uh, put the corner back on the other side the one that is original blitzing elbow also into a curl flat you want to put warner also in a hard flat which is left on the d-pad twice circle and left on left stick you want to blitz your quiz guitar and you're always going to move him in you're always going to move him in that gap be careful to not get an offside uh, that is one thing that you have to watch out for but now if we snap this ball we have perfect coverage that is one thing we have perfect coverage and obviously that's not really a meta play that i just ran but this is nice a nice way to drop into coverage out of this entire thing now, obviously there are ways to beat that but i'm just going to do the same setup again um now this this obviously is a lot of set uh, is a lot of adjustments so if your opponent quick hikes you this is not the ideal thing if my opponent quick hikes me then i would do something else that i'll show you in a second uh, but now this is the coverage. Let's reset the play and now I'm going to show you the blitz. Um, you can send different amounts of people depending on how many uh, defenders you got or how many blockers your opponent has. Um, I'm just going to show you my regular blitz. Um, I'm sending uh, five people right here. I'm using Chukwis Guitar. I make sure that he's in that gap. And uh, against five blockers, I'm going to engage once. Boom. And now you can see how we scream in. It is very simple. We still have some coverage out there. Obviously, we're sending people. And it is important you really get the timing down on this engage. Because you want to engage as quick as possible and then immediately go back to cover everything else. So I'm going to do this, do this one more time. I'm going to set it up. Boom. I'm going to put X in an inside third. I'm going to put a uh, triangle in this um, curl flat. I want to generally on the on against bunch, I want a uh, ward in a hard flat if I'm sending out, if I don't have any flats over there. And I'm gonna go with Trick Whiskey Tart. I'm gonna snap the ball, boom, engage once, and then immediately peel back. Obviously, there's stuff open. It's just about your opponent not expecting the blitz, and then you throw it in. And when your opponent expect the, uh, uh, expects the blitz, you, he max protects, and then you drop into coverage. That's kind of the mind game that you wanna be playing. 
Now I'm gonna go in more detail about the splits in a second and some adjustments you can make out of it. But now let's talk about first uh, what I would do if my opponent quick hikes me. If my opponent, uh, let's just come on in, punch that end, P boot over. If my opponent quick hikes me, then all I do is uh, pinch my line spread outside and put both my outside guys in hard flat, splits my user, and that's it. Sometimes I move in a gap, sometimes I don't. Generally against a uh, bunch, uh, bunch tight end, I don't because I want to be ready for the uh, for the uh, to stop the run, like we said, with the pinch and then slant outside. And now I'm just going to run this right here, boom. And this is actually the way that I would stop. Oh my god, can't get in. But this is the way that I would stop someone running bunch tight end. And let me actually show this to you because this is important. Uh, a lot of people out of bunch tight end, they only know that rollout plays, so... What I would do is I pinch, I'd slant outside, and then I would just loop in like that. Generally, they want to roll out to that side. I'm just going to contain them, make them feel the pressure, and then they generally get afraid to run that. But that is just what I do if they quick hike me. I just pinch, slant outside, boom, 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 boom. I'm ready for the inside zone, like I said. And with how deep our curve, let's say 25 yards play or 20 yards play, we don't really have to be scared of, a cro of crosses beating us. Now, let's go back to the... Uh, blitz setup and then I'll show you some things that I do to adjust out of it. I already showed you one adjustment, but uh, let's just go uh, for another one. And this really depends what my opponent is showing me. Sometimes my opponent is showing me that he really is comfortable against the blitz, but I still want to bluff like I am blitzing so that he still has to worry about it. But then I might just always drop into coverage. Like if my opponent shows me that he can dot the blitz and I might just do this every time, it still looks like I'm blitzing. And then guess what? I'm playing coverage, all right? Got you, bitch. But now, you see everything's covered. Gonna throw the ball away. Also online, generally, two-man pass rush. You're not always gonna shed, but they're gonna be better sheds than you can see right here. So, one final blitz setup where you are sending literally everyone. Uh, is when you also blitz that guy that I just moved down, the safety that was originally in the deep third. And on this, will also get in uh, against a blocked running back and I don't know if it gets in the blocks against the block tight end 100% of the time But I've seen it get in again against a block tight end also. So I'm gonna do this boom All right, let's get in against the block tight end uh, But as you see if they are uh, blocked the tight end there have they have very lim limited routes So you really don't have to be scared. So if you really want to go with the ultimate blitz This is the thing that I, I would go with against bunch now Obviously if I just block the running back you will see how this gets open guaranteed this gets, oh, not open, but this gets in as he breaks the sack. Aaron Rodgers is a machine. He absolutely destroyed the Titans, by the way. Like, I watched the highlights of that because I couldn't watch the whole thing. It was too late. He obliterated them. Also, Seahawks uh, won the division for the first time in four years. So, that's cool. But, let's now talk about, I'm going to reset everything. Let's now talk about some coverage shells. I, only, I already showed you one, uh, which is going to be this one. Just like that, boom. That is one thing. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can go with, uh, you can man up uh, square, you can man up the running back uh, with the D lineman. You can still put the guy in the inside third. On the left side, go with, uh, yeah, go with uh, this kind of a shell, still with the user. The three rack, you want to preserve that as much as possible. Uh, because the three rack they really does play glitchy. A lot of people don't know what it's gonna do. Even I sometimes am surprised of what it does. That is one uh, zone you definitely want to keep on the field. But this is another setup. I'll just walk you through it again. Show blitz, pinch line, slant outside. You want to man up tri the triangle cornerback on square. You want to man up the D lineman on uh, triangle. So you have some way of defending a wheel route. You want to still put X in an inside third. You want to put R uh, L1 in the curl flat. Want to put uh, the other linebacker in a hard flat. Still want to give the same look. But really, uh, with linebackers in at the defensive end spot, you have so much flexibility. I really like this about the, uh, that defense because I've gotten so comfortable adjusting out of it. It really just seems like I can do anything in this defense. And this is one thing that you just have to get comfortable with. I played this for the past two months. And after two months, I feel like I'm comfortable within the defense. And this... Just how flexible I feel with this defense kind of makes me feel like I never want to change because just in my experience, this if I understand what you're doing, you're going to have a rough time moving the ball just because I feel so comfortable adjusting out of it now. 
Um, one final thing that I want to point out, and maybe a lot of the newer players don't know, uh, you can get cover three beaten pretty easily. So what do you do to, to never give up, give up another one play touchdown? You want to put Ramsey in a deep half. That's all you want to do. Just triangle twice, circle, right stick to the right, deep half. And now you will see that a cover three beater, which would work against uh, not inverted. Huh? Can I reset the play? Thank you. I made a wrong adjustment there, never mind. So now you will see if I snap the ball, he will run all the way back with it. Now, obviously, you can see that my R1 was open right there. Things get a lot more nuanced when we are trying to defend Bunch. I will make a future video on that, most likely, just because I've been struggling so much against uh, Bunch, and I feel like I need to lab for myself, for my own sake. But yeah, if you're looking for a bunch of defense, be ready for that. That's also coming. I have so many videos planned, you guys. But still, let me know what you want to see. One more time, I'm going to walk you through the blitz setup. Uh, Yeah. That's it. Going to snap the ball. We're getting in freely. Yeah, There's pretty much nothing that your opponent can do against that. Uh, of course, they can block running back. But who's really trying to block their running back? That's all, that's always not fun. And if you can can get them to block their running back, uh, that limits a lot of the plays out of bunch and a lot of the plays out of trip set end and a lot of that stuff. Now I'm done with this video. Let me put the controller down. You guys have been amazing. I got I gained six subs yesterday. That is something that is very unusual for me. I appreciate you. That's very unusual for my size and my size on YouTube in general. If you want to keep supporting me, let me know. Uh, let me know that you want to support me. <laughs> be rephrasing uh, but subscribe to the channel let me know what I should do in my next video I'm not sure what I'll do for a second video today probably just gonna upload the second part of my trip side end uh, let me know if you're excited for that uh, this was again a very long video I'm, I'm, I kind of feel like I'm always kind of like in that 15 minute range just because there's so much to talk about with defense I feel like and that is one thing that I have gotten a lot better lately and I want to share this guy, uh, to, with you guys because a lot of my stuff was very offensive oriented. Now I want to give you some defense. Let me know if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, obviously you can let me know. Check out my other socials. My Twitch is in the description. My Twitter is in the description. You can ask me questions all over there. Going to be live on Twitch every weekend. Streaming a weekend league. Definitely don't want to miss that. Until next time. Goodbye guys. And you guys are awesome. The support has been crazy. Let's keep that going.